All right, we got the console done. Just had to get some angle and a few more bolts because I was out of bolts. But it's pretty sturdy. We'll just take that last piece of angle I have and we'll cut it to make four floor brackets. But right now we got to replace the floor. So I got some exterior untreated plywood right here and uh, two by fours for the bunks. Top choice. Doesn't have to be perfect. All right, we got the old floor out. Doesn't look like anything's really corroded. All right, I pulled out some cables. I had to cut some wires. We're gonna have to rewire everything anyways. We got, I know we got navigation lights in the depth finder, which we're gonna run off a different battery up here at the console. Then we're gonna have two batteries up here that'll be pretty much dedicated to the trolling motor. So we're ripping some wires out. We're gonna have to rewire this whole thing anyway. I have removed them from the throttle control. Hopefully this works all right. Um, I took a picture of where these threads are at. When we put it all back together, they're still gonna be at the right position, hopefully. I'm gonna have to go up there and guide it through probably, but we need it to come out and go under the floor, come out where the console is gonna be. All right, hey, chill out. So we got the throttle cable run underneath here. It's gotta go under because plywood's gonna sit on top. Console's gonna be right in here somewhere so we can drill a hole for the cables to come up and throttle will be right about here. Now we've got this hydraulic line here and one there for the steering. We've got to do the same thing, back them out. So hopefully we can get it to come out somehow and do the same kind of thing. If it doesn't work, we're gonna to have to go down to the shop down the road and get some new hydraulic line made up. But we'll see what we can do. All right, I got the fitting plugged off with a little piece of paper towel so we don't get dirt in there. I've got it pulled back to about halfway. That actually went pretty smooth. Now, uh, I tried to run it under the center here. It was a little too tight. We're gonna set this here for now. It's the whole throttle control, a whole assembly that's disassembled. Obviously, there's some ugly holes in this front deck. That's why we got scraps. The only thing holding me up now, time-wise, with this floor and putting the console in, is getting that plywood uh, painted, prepped, sealed, so it's waterproof. We gotta do that first. Need some carb cleaner here. Just to get that uh, hydraulic fluid that spilled. Try to get rid of that before we paint. Alright, we got this self-etching primer. Well, this old rusty can plugged up and I switched the spray nozzle three times it's plugged so I went to the store but they had a different shade of green but it'll be all right it's just a lighter olive drab green all right this is the top surface um, that'll be painted white we're gonna paint the bottom first I got this wet rag to pick up any dirt and sawdust just to prep the surface a little bit before we put this sealant on. All right, we're going to give this a try for the bottom. It's supposed to be a pretty good uh, wood preserver and sealant. Um, never used it before, but we're going to find out if it works, I guess.
All right, it's supposed to soak in with one coat. It's real runny, which I like. It should soak in the pores. I, I got the edges really good. All right, we got the clear coat on. Let that dry a few hours before I move that thing around. Got to prep this for the uh, LED strip light. We want to make sure this is clean and not dusty or anything because we're using that double sided tape. All right, we got three segments here that are hooked up together. Uh, the box came with four. I don't think we're going to need all four. So this controller is going to go up under the console. It came with adhesive to stick it up in there. Um, we got four connectors. We only use one of them. We're going to actually run these under the floor like everything else. See that little, those four lines with the little scissors? That's where you're supposed to cut. So this is our uh, 12 volt supply. Obviously it's a wall, it's a wall plug. So we're gonna have to cut it and splice it into the battery system, the 12 volt. These clips will hold the LED strip in place even though it's got its own adhesive. This is kind of like backup and it's also got adhesive and it's got a screw hole. And I believe it came with screws too, yep. Wherever I think the strips might be stressed out from wear and tear, wherever I think they might pull loose, especially where they go over the welds and other uneven parts going around the hole. We're gonna put these clips around those parts so it doesn't start to peel off over time. All right, we got everything taped up, screwed in. Got this wire hooked up to the battery just to test run. Everything works good. Looking forward to seeing it at night. But while we wait for it to get dark, got a delivery. Let's go get that. Well, the good news is we got most of our Extruded aluminum. We're still waiting on the hardware, so we can't put any of it together yet. Bad news is my brand new LED strips burned out. It wasn't plugged in, but uh, four or five minutes, and now we got nothing. So maybe the voltage on the battery is a little too high for this. I don't know. But the controller was warm. I think I burned out the controller. Hopefully it didn't burn out all the strips. We may have to see if they sell a separate controller or go a different route. I don't know. I just put in all this work to install these and we are kind of stuck here with no light now. So I'm going to do some digging online, see what I can come up with. Because I think this thing's toast.